Cormac Maher with a, a Cahirlach, and I'd like to ask the leader if he could arrange a debate with um, uh, Minister Harris, uh, who was responsibility for the Office of Public Works, because I want to know how these uh, registers of protected structures at regional level work, because we have a situation in County Clare in Ennis Diamond, uh, where two buildings are allegedly on this regional protected structure, uh, and uh, they're known as Blakes and the Nans. Uh, they're on the N67, uh, which is the main uh, uh, connect connectivity to the Cliffs of Moher. And I have found out this morning that the NRA are supporting uh, demolishing four, uh, three to four other buildings and building a bridge at a cost to the taxpayer of at least six million, instead of just demolishing what are two derelict buildings uh, demolishing them and putting in a roundabout, which will cost a fraction. Now, we are after coming out of a bailout in this country, where Irish people, the length and breadth of this country, suffered enormously. And I would consider what the NRA are proposing as a scandalous waste of taxpayers' money. Somebody, somewhere, needs to be accountable for these decisions. It's completely and totally unacceptable the two buildings, and I would question very much uh, where their national heritage, uh, the, the, whether they have any national uh, heritage importance. So I think serious questions need to be answered on this issue by the Minister for Transport, the Minister for the Environment, and the Minister with responsibility for the Office of Public Works. So let's start with him and get him in here to explain how these structures work how these registers work and how buildings can be removed from these registers when they're holding a whole community to ransom and ultimately uh, forcing people out of their homes uh, which uh, could potentially be purchased uh, through the compulsory purchasing legislation in order to protect what I would describe as two kits. Thank you very much.